One of the most common things out there with people with neck problems is actually headaches. And in fact, headaches are mostly caused from neck problems. So today I'm going to ask my associate, Joel Crisco, who's an international sports physio, to go over some simple self-management techniques for people who have headaches that are created by neck pain and help you manage your own headaches with some simple stretches and some other advice. The most common spot uh, in the neck where we're going to see headaches is in the suboccipital region or right at the base of the skull. Um, this can be caused by different things such as whiplash or trauma from falling on your head or a car accident or it can even come from being in a chronic, chronically head forward position that you'll see in people who sit for a long time whether watching TV or at computers. So the position I'm talking about here, that head forward posture, looks like this. And while that does look a little, little silly right now, what you, what you realize is quite a few people sit like that for hours on end working at computers or watching TV, as we were talking about in our other sort of webisode there. So again, what happens here with the headache is the suboccipital muscles right at the base of the skull are held in a shortened position for a prolonged period of time. And the muscles in the front of the neck, or the short neck flexors, are lengthened. And with that chronically tight position at the back of the skull, staying that way and very tight, that's where the headache begins. And while there are some headaches that come over the top of the head or wrap around, those tend to come from lower down in the neck. We're just gonna focus on the ones in the suboccipital region or the ones where the headache is straight at the back of the head. So our aim here with these stretches that I'm gonna teach you is to help lengthen the neck out in the back or the suboccipital region and sort of bring on a double chin of sorts. And so we're not trying to get people to sit up in a military posture where they're going as far as they can back like this, because that has a whole, whole host of problems. We're trying to get someone into a neutral position, and like I said, just to alleviate some of the pressure in the back of the head. So the first exercise, uh, what we'd like to do is take a towel, and you want to fold it across the diagonal. This creates a nice firm, crisp line that we're going to be putting right across that suboccipital region and give sort of longer handles to hang on to. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put it behind Randy and we want to situate it right at the base of the skull. Now he's going to hold the towel coming straight forward, not yanking forward, but just sort of stabilizing that area. And what he's going to try and do here is nod the chin down and retract the head, sort of again doing that double chin. And you should feel a stretch right at the base of the skull. You want to hold that for about five to ten seconds and then do it again. If the headache is sort of focused more on one side, what we can do is localize that stretch to that side. And so say if Randy has the headache more so on the right-hand side, he's going to just turn his head ever so slightly to the right-hand side and do that exact same exercise now where he's retracting the chin and nodding his head. Good. And again, he should feel that stretch right through here for about 5 to 10 seconds and then ease. So in cases where the headache is quite acute, um, such as a traumatic MVA or a serious whiplash, sometimes the towel exercise is a bit much. So what we like to try and do early on is get people laying supine and just trying to do that same motion by themselves. What this does is, again, we allow that person to just do a gentle chin nod by themselves and relax. And again, they will feel quite a bit of a stretch in the back, but at the same time here, what we end up doing is we end up activating the reciprocal muscles in the front, the short neck flexors, so that helps them transition to doing this exercise when they're sitting, standing, or doing any other activity. But a lot of times, again, like I said, it's so acute that they can't do that actual pressure on there. So this is something that they can do on their very own. Again, if the person is unable to do that, sometimes they just need a little bit of guidance. And I'm just going to guide you down, and you're going to hold there and relax. It's very important that the person does not lift their head like so, as that's going to actually reinforce that pattern of tightness. I find it interesting how people with uh, chronic headaches, you'll always see them sort of talk about you know, being really tight through this region and do these motions with their hands, or talk about how they carry stress. Um, in fact, you know, these motions are actually doing the exercise that I just showed you, except with the exercise, um, we're being very specific to that level, being the C1-2 region. Um, again, with these exercises, if it's not alleviating some of your headache symptoms, please consult a professional. Um, they should do a, a, you know, a thorough head and neck assessment to help you with your problems and get back to normal.